Hi, my name's Isaac Shutt. I'm an estate planning attorney licensed both in Texas and in Wyoming. Our law office, Shutt Law Firm, is headquartered in Texas. Today I'm going to talk about a question that we frequently get, which is how do I amend my last will and testament in Texas correctly? And actually there's multiple ways to answer that question. Uh, one way is sort of the old school way, and the new way is the way that's more popular now. The old school way uh, to amend your will is through a document called a codicil. That's C-O-D-I-C-I-L. I spell that because that's a word you don't hear very often. And frankly, a lot of new attorneys or new estate planning attorneys probably have never heard of that either. Uh, codicils were sort of an addendum to a will that would basically uh, be like an amendment that just says, I hereby modify Article 3, Section 1 is hereby follows, and then I would just you know, type out that uh, replacement paragraph and have it executed, uh, meaning signed and witnessed in front of a notary and all that good stuff, the same way that the will had originally been signed, you would need to do that with a codicil. Now, the reason that's sort of the old school version of a will amendment in Texas is because in the old days, you didn't have a computer where you could just hit print on a whole new will. You would have to have a typist, like your secretary, type out um, a whole new will. So they came out with this thing called a codicil where instead of having your typist type out a whole new will, they could type out just that replacement paragraph. So the first way of amending a will in Texas is by doing a codicil where you can kind of interject that new paragraph with this addendum and then that addendum has to be signed in front of uh, witnesses and everything just like the underlying will had been signed. Now, uh, the new way of doing it is sort of just by, uh, with a word processor, just printing out the will again uh, as amended, you know, with the changes that you wanted in that document. And so, you know, since computers have become so popular and people very rarely physically type out on a typewriter a last will and testament, you know, it's, it's actually easier just to reprint the whole will as amended. And I think this second option is also superior because if I do a will with codicils uh, attached, and sometimes people will have two, three, four codicils, the problem with that is when you pass away, the judge will have to evaluate not only the underlying will to make sure that's valid, but also evaluate all of those codicils. So the judge would basically be probating not only the will, but also probating each codicil after that original will. So you're actually sort of kicking the can down the road and making it more difficult and expensive for your family if you amend the will using a series of codicils because now that's more legal work and hassle for the family to basically probate the will and also all of those codicils. Um, there's also kind of a nasty consequence to having the will with the codicils, which is if you're changing your beneficiaries or your executor order or things like that, well, now everybody gets to see the changes that you've made. They get to see sort of that history. And that's not always going to be very palatable to the family. Uh, it might be very upsetting to see, well, wait a minute, it was equal shares in the original version, but then when they did this codicil, it went to unequal percentages, and that might be hurtful or inflammatory to people uh, to have uh, the original and then the as changed version together as one document. You know, people can kind of see that contrast, and that can be very upsetting. Whereas if you have just a clean sheet, new printed will, and you've totally gotten rid of the old version where people can't easily see that contrast, it's much cleaner, it's much more palatable, it's much less controversial uh, to do it that way. So again, just to recap, the two ways are an old school codicil, which is like an addendum to the will that is executed with the same formality as the original will. Um, and I think that's not as good a way to go this day and age. Or you can do the new version, which is basically just to reprint the whole will as amended. And then of course you'll need to sign that in front of witnesses and a notary just the same way you would uh, the underlying will originally. 
I hope you found this video helpful, and of course, we'd love to hear from you. Again, my name's Isaac Schutt. I'm an estate planning attorney headquartered in Texas. Thank <laughs> you.